It's about noon on December the 12th, and I'm here with Paul Dietz at one of his clinics at the home. And this is something we kind of talked about doing for quite a while now. And, and everything, we've got two or three objectives, and one of them is, is to talk to some of the people that have been with Paul for several years now, and some new people, and get a perspective on why these clinics are so important to their life, and why it's so important to their horse. When I first met, Ray Hutt many years ago, he said his dream one day would be to see a young person riding down the road and the horse was real soft and really right. Now he said I'd ride up to that person and say, where did you learn that? And that person would turn and say, is there any other way? Well, I'm here with Emily and uh, I've seen her for quite a few years now. And I've seen her grow with her horsemanship horsewomanship and she's now at a point where she's got a great deal to offer the horse at a very young age that's the start that uh, um, today's youth would just benefit greatly from so I'm going to ask Emily a couple of questions here and everything and so Emily uh, what was the first year that you rode with Paul you were pretty big even um, I was about 11 so it would have been about 2000 before 2005, I started riding with him, and we've done a long time together. Yeah, well, you've also, uh, with Paul's efforts, too, have been able to ride with in uh, with Ray Hunt and uh, when he was still with us. And that, tell me about that experience with you. Uh, that really helped me a lot because I could see what I was doing wrong. Because usually with Paul, he's a little bit easier on me. <laughs> And Ray was able to actually push me harder, and Paul's actually pushing me harder now. So riding with Ray actually really helped me a lot because I learned a lot. What do you think about riding with Buck? Um, he's very clear cut. I like riding with him because he doesn't. He gives you a way to do it, and you have to do it right. Then he shows you how to do it right. I really like riding with him. Well, can you tell us a little bit too of how much this? horsemanship has meant to your own personal life at this young age? It means a lot to me. I ride a lot. I ride almost every day when I can, when I don't have my schoolwork. And being able to actually have my horse listen to me and do what I want has changed everything because riding is now fun. Then it's not, and it's not dangerous anymore because it used to be dangerous and not as fun. Right. Where do you think Paul's helped you and your horses the most? You've had actually ridden several horses with them, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, he's helped me with everything before I knew how to ride, but it was always riding fast. And now I can actually go the speed I want and my horses listen to the speed I want. You know, that's really great too, see. Uh, Emily started at the age where she didn't have to undo a lot of bad habits like so many of us that started off maybe in a different way. And so she's uh, really got her, a tremendous life with a horse ahead of her. and. And uh, she's done a really great job. And are you going to be, you've been working cattle too, haven't you? Yeah, I work. Paul's taught me how to work with cows, which is actually a lot of fun. And it helps me use the stuff that Paul teaches me to actually put it to use. Yeah, years ago we used to say the only reason we held a cow worker is so we could see what we did, forgot to learn in the horsemanship. <laughs> and uh, there's nothing like working cattle to reveal those weaknesses, <laughs> is there? <laughs> No, you find all your weaknesses when you work cows. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, Emily, thank you for your time here. Very appreciate it.